Hi, this is Mato. And in this video, I will show you the game between Sergei Rublevsky and Alexander Onischuk. This game was played in Moscow in 1994. Rublevsky had white pieces and he started at e4. Onischuk played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight to f6. And Rublevsky played d4, going for scotch game. Bishop to b4, pinning the knight. Knight takes pawn on e5. Queen to e7. Castling is also possible in this position. We have queen to e7. Queen to d3, defending the pawn on e4. Knight takes knight on e5. Pawn takes knight. Queen takes pawn, winning the pawn back. Bishop to d2, unpinning. Onish took a castle kingside and Rubevsky castle the queenside. d6 in order to bring the bishop in the game. f4 attacking the queen. Queen to e7. Rook to e1. More protection for the pawn on e4. Rook to e8. Queen to g3. c6. Bishop to d3. Is it equal? Maybe it is. Question is, which player will manage to improve his position in next five moves? Hmm? It is black to move. Any ideas for black? Maybe Onish to consider bishop to e6 and then like it. Let's have a look what happens in bishop to e6. If bishop to e6, then e5. Perhaps if he had e5. And if d takes on e5, pawn can take, or maybe even rook, which is better. So, perhaps to avoid e5, we have knight to d7. a3 attacking the bishop. Bishop to a5. Rook from h to f1. Have a good look at this position. White managed to mobilize his army better. Do you agree? White pieces are better positioned. Two bishops are aiming at black king. Rook on e1 is lined up with black queen. Only should play the bishop to c7 f5, king to h8. White move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? Hmm? Any ideas? Only to play f6. Would you play this too? Pawn take is knight takes pawn better. If knight takes on f6, it's even worse for black because of e5. And after d takes on e5, queen to h4, threatening rook takes knight and then checkmate on h7. For example, a random move. Rook takes knight, queen takes checkmate. Perhaps to avoid the checkmate, black can play h6. But then then bishop takes pawn and perhaps black is advised not to capture the bishop because of this disaster. So knight takes on f6 would be worse in this position. In this position. So we have g takes on f6. Oh boy! Black was clever to capture with the pawn. Does white have enough compensation for sacrifice pawn? What would you do now if you had white pieces? Rublevsky sacrificed another pawn mm. to clear the path for the bishop. F takes on e5. White to move. What would you do now? Please 
pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause or you just wait for me to show you the move? Are you ready? What did you find? I will show you a move that doesn't work. If queen to h3, then f6, queen is defending the pawn, and perhaps black will have a chance to win. Black is two pawns up. How should white continue then? Rublevsky sacrificed the bishop too. Hmm. Did you see this one? d5. Of course, first move that comes to mind is king takes bishop. Then rook to f5, intending rook to h5. If knight to f6 defending, then another rook comes to e4 with the threat rook to h4 and there is no sensible defense for black. That is why Onischuk played d5, preventing rook to e4. Bishop to f5, f6, queen to h4 check, king to g8, rook to f3, intending rook to g3 check, e4, attacking rook, and if rook goes to g3, then bishop takes rook perhaps. It is white to move. White played the move and black resigned. What is the move? What would you do? Rublevsky captured the pawn on e4 with knight. On his trick resigned. Possible continuation is pawn takes knight. Rook takes pawn attacking the queen. If we want to save the queen, perhaps queen to f7, defending the rook. Rook takes rook check. Queen takes rook. Queen to h7 check. King to f8. And there is checkmate in one. Can you see checkmate in one? In slow motion. Checkmate. What an amazing game by Rublevsky. And Onishchuk even didn't make a bad move, did he? It all started with the pawn sacrifice at move 17. Let's go to move 17 to have a look what happened. So in this position, we have first pawn sacrifice. And then second pawn sacrifice. And then bishop sacrifice with the unstoppable attack. Amazing. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and with your king hunt. And bye for now.